question I'm asked more often than any other at the moment is Kev, what camera do I need if I want to start daily vlogging? And today we're going to answer that question. We're not going to do it in Tesco car park though. Don't worry, it's not going to be in the co-op car park either. We're going this way. Right, I know we did a little bit of this when the new camera setup arrived last week, but what we didn't do is come out and about and test things properly. In fact, that's a good opportunity to check the microphones on. All we really did before, sit in the garage, studio lighting, perfect sound conditions. It wasn't really a fair test. So I thought I'd get out and about here. It's a bit windy out in this park. There's a lot of birds and ducks and things making a lot of noise. There's people walking around all around us. The lighting is a little bit inconsistent. It's a very sunny day, but there's a little bit of shadow here and there as well. So I thought we would try out four potential vlogging cameras for you to use to help make your decision about what you want to use for your vlog. So the four cameras we're putting to the test. Firstly, phone, smartphone. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. The cameras on these smartphones are all fairly similar, so it's often the first camera people use when they start a vlog. It's certainly the thing I started with. So we need to make this a fair test, have this as our control and all of the other cameras, if they're worth buying, need to be better than one of these because you've probably already got one of these. We're also going to be testing the GoPro Hero 5, which looks like this. It doesn't have one of the flippy cameras that some of the more expensive solutions have, but of the three proper cameras that we're looking at, this one is by far and away the cheapest and the most robust, and it films in 4K. And you can do the stuff like adding on the fancy microphones and things as well. I just haven't on mine. We're then going to be looking at the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. When I first started out and Googled what's the best camera to vlog with, this is the one that I found and it has been awesome. It's got the flippy screen, it's with the little muff on the top, the microphone on it is surprisingly good and it's almost pocket size. It doesn't quite fit in the pocket so I've got one of these things that I clipped to my belt and Anna doesn't let me use when I'm out and about but it's nice and light and easy to manage. And then the last one which is the one that you're looking at me on now is the Canon 80D with the VideoMic Pro Rode microphone thing on top. In theory this is the best quality although it is the one that requires the most skill level as you saw in yesterday's vlog when I had it on manual settings and didn't get my white balance set up properly and it was a complete disaster. So that one is an option for us to look at as well. Now as regulars to the vlog will know I'm by no means an expert of all this stuff. In fact before I started vlogging myself the most money I'd ever spent on a camera was about 115 quid for a little video camera thing so that I could record myself while I was playing Football Manager. So this is all very new to me. This was the first one I bought which I got in November last year and then the GoPro and the ATD have been very recent purchases and I've decided to take this vlogging black seriously but the only way to really test how good these things are is to get them up and running so we're going to start with the iPhone one thing I would say with an iPhone we're going to be using this camera on the back so we're not going to, be able to see what we're doing because that one is a proper camera this one is really just for doing selfies so I'm not going to be able to see myself I imagine I'll still be in the shot though, this isn't my first rodeo. So this is using the iPhone 6 Plus, obviously if you've got a slightly newer iPhone than mine then the picture quality will be that bit better. But I have got a microphone plug-in for this but I'm deliberately using it without it because if you're going to get into the realm where you're starting to put brackets and uh, and microphones and things onto an iPhone then you're starting to spend enough money that you could probably justify getting one of these. and. As we get onto that, I'm sure you'll agree that it probably is worth your while getting one of those because the quality is that bit better than it is on the phone. But if you're starting out, 
this is certainly better than the quality you'd get on a 200 pound camera so it is well worth considering and we've all got smartphones now surely if you've not got a smartphone get a smartphone first then worry about starting a vlog so the next camera as we move up from cheapest to most expensive this one is the gopro hero 5 i don't have any of the fancy attachments on it so there's no external microphone so this is the onboard microphone on the gopro i'm filming this in 2.7k although it can go up to 4k i didn't really see the point in going up to 4k when i'm downscaling it all down to 1080p to go onto youtube anyway but with it being 2.7 it doesn't massively fill up a card but gets a nice crisp picture when it's downscaled as well so to see the ducks and the birds have stopped making noise on this one i really really like the picture quality on the gopro i'm not so convinced about the sound quality we noticed when we were using it down in london the other week that once you're using the gopro next to a busy road it can be quite hard to hear what's being said and when i do the car shots and things on it as well it's quite difficult to hear me over the engine noise i i, I do intend to get an external microphone for it at some point so i can test that but the gopro in its raw form is this Next up we have the camera that 95% of the videos on this channel are filmed with, the Canon G7X Mark II. It's got the little muff thing over the microphone because without that the sound quality is awful even in light wind. But with it the microphone is actually surprisingly good and it's good because the microphone sits on top of the camera as well. So that whether you're looking into the camera like I am now or whether you're filming stuff and talking about what's going on in front of you, it, the microphone picks you up in the same way. So in actual fact when I'm doing this and talking about stuff that I'm looking at so oh look at those ducks this is still my go-to cho go choice of camera because on top of this one on top of the ATD that's a directional microphone so if I'm pointing that camera away from me with the microphone on top it actually becomes harder to hear what I'm saying but this picture quality I'm sure you'll agree is excellent and for a simple point and shoot that you can just grab out of your bag turn on and be filming with straight away I, I would be hard pushed to say this isn't the best choice for someone who's just starting out vlogging. And then of course we get back to the big boy. Now this one is supposed to be much better than all the others. It cost twice as much as this one did, three times as much as this one did, twice as much as this one, but this one does some other stuff too. It's a very expensive camera, especially with all the add-ons that I've got on there as well, because it's not just the camera in its raw form, it's the camera plus the lens plus the microphone. It all adds up but hopefully all adds up to fantastic quality, far in excess of what I really need with less than 2,000 subscribers, but it's certainly where I want to be moving towards. So yeah, I've got to set the bar that little bit higher. I think the camera quality on this is brilliant. The audio quality is particularly great and hopefully it is working. Obviously I can't test that, although in theory I could because there's a headphone jack on the side of the camera. It's a great camera. It probably is excessive for someone just starting out, not really sure whether vlogging is going to be your thing, you just want to give it a try. If you've got money to spend, I'd spend it on this one. If you have money to burn, then by all means get one of these. But certainly early days, first 50, 100 vlogs, while you're deciding if it's for you, I think one of these is probably going to be your best bet. But anyway, I've been out ages, I was officially sent out to buy Anna a sandwich from Subway, and I may have ended up in the park with all my kit. Should probably head to Subway and then back to Tesco and go home. I think it's worth noting as well that it is 25 degrees outside in April. This is awesome. The park is full of people, there's kids out messing about, jumping in the, in the little stream, out on their scooters, people are just out lying around in the sun reading books. What an awesome, awesome day. Winter's rubbish, it should always be like this. If we could just eliminate the yellow stuff and the coughing that it causes, this would just be the most perfect time of the year. I need to find my shorts. Yep, I do. Hold on, check it out on there, all the links on there. You can keep that, there you go, you can even be on the vlog tomorrow. <laughs> there you go folks, vlog marketing 101. Walk around any town centre with a stupidly big camera like this with a massive microphone on top. People will ask you if you have a YouTube channel and that 
is when you have the business cards on hand. New subscribers, ahoy! How different life might be if I'd have noticed they had a burnt end sub before I ordered. That's like the third best burnt meat. I think a key element to successful self-employment is going to be more games like Persona 5 because I've now been, I'm home, as you can see, I've now been sent out of the house for an, an undetermined number of hours so that Anna can continue playing Persona 5 because I won't be in the house while she's playing it because she's further into it than I am. So I've basically been sent into the garage where I can work for two or three hours got videos to record, edit, a bit of writing to do, some stuff for the new website, lots of stuff going on. This is genius. I got to sit and play it for like four hours last night. It is great, by the way, if you're into that kind of thing. Buy Persona 5 if you're on the fence about it. But this is really cool. I'm playing it in the evening, and because she plays it during the day, she's fine with me playing it in the evening. And then, because I'm out here during the day, I'm recording all my videos and doing all my editing during the day, so I don't need to do that in the evening, so I get to go in there and play a game. It's all worked brilliantly for the last 24 hours. Hopefully, it will continue long term, because that is a cool system. I'm now four videos ahead on Football Manager, which is awesome. Today's vlog is just about done. Just need to edit together. It's not even quarter past four on Sunday afternoon. This is efficiency. What I am doing at the moment though is moving away from editing and recording just for a few minutes because I'm trying to figure out what on earth to do with this garage. I've been talking about finally sorting it out for a little while. We know it's an absolute disgrace. You've seen me half tidy it before. But the great clear out starts tomorrow and I don't even know where to start because just look at the state of it. I'm going to struggle to see with those lights there. But this it's just a pile of junk. These are bin bags that are in here from the last time I cleared out. That is just a pile of old wires and, and below it a pile of old football programs from years ago. That's probably where Clive lives. Behind the green screen it's just a pile of junk. This is basically Anna's old flat. That stuff down there is the stuff that moved in when she did five years ago that we really need to get rid of. And then in there that's the utility room. That's where I'm going to have the charging stuff. In fact, let's go in and have a look. I plan on having storage in these cupboards here and charging areas for stuff on here. And then there's another cupboard for storage here. That door is lockable. This door, lockable. So that room is secure. This room, not so much. So nothing will be kept in here. But I don't know where to begin. Just, I think we just need to gut the room out. What I think I want to do is have a green screen against, hold on. I think I want to have a green screen against the garage door here and then another green screen against this wall. I've got three green screens now because one came with my new lighting which I didn't realise plus I had a massive two metre one that I can use standing up. And then I've got these lights, I've got new lights, I've got the ring light I've obviously got the desk with the proper audio setup and everything on it, which needs to go down one end of the room. I've got the TV there that's going to have a PS4 sat upon it with the Elgato. So I kind of want to have the football manager zone at the back of the garage with the desk and probably these lights and a green screen. And then the lazy student's guide area is going to be against this wall with a bigger green screen, better lighting, so I can stand up and actually teach effectively. And then probably against this wall, we'll have the streaming area where I'll have another desk. There's another one behind there that I can move and put there. Plus the TV, the Elgato, a bit more lighting maybe. We've got lots in the way of lighting in here now so that I can stream PS4 and PC from there because as soon as we hit July I'm back on Twitch everybody and want to be able to stream from there and then obviously in there is where we'll charge the drone and the cameras and various other bits and pieces so it's going to be really cool when it's done it's a massive job though and I'm not sure it's going to get done in two days so luckily I've got the kids here to help and Sproglet's going to be at his residential thing for two days so Anna can help too but it is going to be a big job I think I might just set the GoPro up in that cupboard, I just kind of leave it on for the two days and see how the room takes takes shape. That's the plan at the moment anyway. But I'm going to call it a day there for the vlog because all I'm going to do now is edit together all the footage I've done from today, edit together some Football Manager videos, 
and then after dinner it's my go on Persona 5 and that's going to be me through till bedtime so I hope you've enjoyed what we've done today if you are new to the channel please pop a subscribe on there share it around throughout the world like it if you've enjoyed it and I hope you come back and join me again tomorrow to watch me tidy a garage thank you very much for watching